right, so here's a, a huge piece of quilted maple that I just lifted up. It weighs 600 pounds, and uh, so I got it on the blade and just tightening the bolts right now. pounds held on with uh, a whole bunch of three and a half inch Simpson, Simpson strong tie bolts on a 12 inch 300 millimeter BB's 36 face plate. Everything's torqued down. I want to release the crane. I slipped the thing underneath but after I slipped it under uh, I was all just by hook or by crook. It, bal it, balanced, it balanced just the first time and it came right on. The only thing I was going to point when I drove in, I could see your roof. Oh, <laughs> no. Yeah, you touch your bolts. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> bolts. And 600 pounds is nothing. Uh, um, to, you know, there's, there's three bolts. Each one is like 90,000 PSI. Right. So it... It should hold it. Yeah, yeah. yeah my only concern... That's like... How far do they go in? Uh, about three inches, but there's uh, is it 18 or 20 or something like that. He could have changed it. Yeah. Oh, well, it seemed like yeah, it was too it, fast. He could have changed the belt on, yeah. It turns. It does turn? Yeah. Now, are you going to... Uh, Should if I know. Are you going to trim off some of the left side <laughs> yeah. with, with a chainsaw yeah. before you start trying to turn? Yeah, this is just... Um, you notice the tail stop. So uh, the support isn't even center. there yet. Yeah. yeah, you know, it's pretty close though. I mean, look, you're... you're uh, is it? I, that, you know, I, I was... You're, you're, yeah. I'm doing more than about uh, three or four inches. Well, that's good. Yeah, I... I can get it. So what I'll do is I'll turn the outside into the conical shape that he mm -hmm. wants, and then I'll reverse chuck it, and um, um, and then start the hollowing job. But that's four yeah. feet long. No yeah. longer. Yeah.
the first chips. Yikes. Mm. Mm. It's dangerous. Oh my gosh. Mmm. Mmm. It's heavy and it takes a lot of, I don't want to spin it up too fast, so I start really slow. So that's about 150 RPM.
Mm. So there's a branch that is attached there and then that's It's uh, July whatever, and it's probably the best part of 90 degrees in here. This is a big piece of um, quilted maple. Um, it's, a big, it's a big burl, 600 pounds. Um, Winston Lambert is the fellow that's paying me to make this as a speaker tone. It's meant to, it's meant to be like this, only bigger. So this is one that somebody else made for him. So I've been working for two days on it. Uh, big face plate, put it on, started turning it, and readjusted it uh, to get it uh, more on center line. And uh, so now it's it's slowly being turned and it's all pretty well round except for some bark inclusions and um, inches and you have to go to 17. Okay.
what came out of the first layer of cones. Ready? several inches now um, but a couple of things are are happening um, one is that the, the cutter which is this little carbide I started out with it going in on the flat face and I just now tried it going in with the diamond face you can fit it into the holder in two different orientations you can see the little V there where you can put it in with a diamond in there so it comes in flat uh, when it was going in flat, it seems like it was um, chattering a lot, so I turned it so it was going in like that, so it's like an alternate top bevel uh, chisel tooth, and, uh, and that seemed to be cutting pretty well. Uh, I, I've hollowed out a lot of it in there, but uh, what's happening now is that I've got such a long cantilever, there's about... 14 inches cantilevered on it and what I'm seeing is that the tool post itself down here is actually flexing. Um, this is there's a piece of cork on it and uh, um, when when the when the piece is coming around this is actually moving ever so slightly. You can see even with the, the new 4340 uh, 40 tool post right here there's just a smidgen of flay right there and what it does is that it starts an oscillation and uh, and then with a flex in the in the tool uh, post assembly, that uh, starts an on damped oscillation, which means that I got to pull it back out because it starts to chatter. So that's a nuisance. Not sure what I'm going to do next. I got it reverse chucked last evening. I couldn't with the McNaughton extension that I have get the rest of the cone out. I got it all but about two or three inches in the center. I tried breaking it out by lifting it on the small end while it was still attached to the faceplate and it wiggled but it wouldn't break off so today I've got to try to figure out how to get that rest of that core out of there Mr. Sigmund's exploring down in the bowels so it's uh, 30 inches long and that's just a little bit long for my tool rest uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do to accommodate that Uh, it's gonna, I mean, there's gonna be a lot. Uh, 
Okay, so the inside is pretty near done. It's uh, all sanded through um, 400 grit, a little dusty, but uh, lots of lots of action with the burl, and the hole goes back 30 inches, and it's two inches all the way back, except for the very last little bit that'll come in from the other end on. And it's uh, the diameter shrunk down to 25 to get it to be square because of the divots on it. Where the chainsaw from the original lumbering had cut it and made it funny. So it's getting to size now and um, some of the bark inclusions are, are minimized. Well the bark's gone, the inclusions are still there. Not sure if that lamp helps or not. I guess it doesn't. So I got the contour pretty well up here. And then there's that little inflection point like in the other speaker that Winston had. And um, here's where the, the tree came out from the, I mean, this this end was a, there in the ground and the rest of the, uh, the left end was above ground. That's where a big inclusion was, if you remember from earlier in the video when the tree was bigger. So it's, it's getting there. Um, got to take it down to just a little bit bigger than the faceplate. Eight faceplate's eight inches and it's got to go to eight and three quarters. So I've got another inch and something there, inch and a half probably. So that's how it's looking so far. Taking quite a while to get this far. Here's the speaker cone all finished. Lots of really nice grain, bright colors, tremendous burl. No finish on it yet, this is just sanded through 2000 grit. That's a great piece of furniture. Nice red coloration where the bark was. Your crack yet to be filled. Weighs about a hundred pounds. <laughs>